Okay, I've got some files here that uh, Cedric has sent me from Fox Audio Post-Production. So I've stripped all the metadata out. I'm uh, just going to scan them in here just to kind of show you what happens. So there's absolutely nothing. Um, now what Cedric has done is he's adopted the UCS uh, file name. So I can just select all, go to the workflows, and do a UCS file name extraction. And that way it's going to look at the file name. It's going to see this is a vehicle by. And if I run it, you'll see it's automatically gone through and extracted out that metadata that it could from the file name. So that's pretty good. But there's still no artwork. There's all the other stuff, like microphone and um, recording location, URL, all that stuff that he's put into the, the, uh, the metadata. So I'll just load this back in again. Like I said, this was stripped, but what you would do is um, if you owned his libraries, because he's a vendor, he can upload uh, all of his metadata to the UCS uh, website. So there's a process here where I can select all of the files. I go to the database and say, look up the metadata from UCS. And what that does is it sort of fingerprints the audio file. Oh, I should say there is a caveat. You've got to have the manufacturer field um, filled out. So in this case, it's Fox Audio Post-Production. That's just to make sure that there's no collisions with other vendors. So, Because what it does is it, it doesn't look up the file name. It looks up a, a fingerprint of the audio. Um, and that, along with the manufacturer, pulls down all the metadata that that person may have uploaded. Now, if they haven't uh, uploaded all their metadata to UCS, it's just going to skip over the file. But this is what it will look like. So I'm going to look up. And it's going through, and it's pulling down the description, effects, name, pretty much all the metadata. So artwork, uh, all the URL stuff. It'll just crunch away here. And when it's done, there it is. So at any point in time, is if Cedric decides that he's uh, going to update any of the metadata, he could just send an email blast out to his users saying, if you're a SoundMiner user, just go ahead and, and do that. So sync, and just to show that it works cross-platform here, um, this is the, the HD Plus version, or just the Plus version, I guess we're calling it now. Uh, and this runs on Mac and Windows, and it's the same kind of thing. You can go to Database, and you can look up the UCS metadata. Oh, but of course, I don't have a manufacturer. So let me just do the same thing again. And now let's do it. Look up. And there we go. And because this database actually had uh, additional language fields, it's gone in and done a lookup for those as well.